for a family day out, visit Chester Zoo with reduced prices for parties. Write for free brochure to TV Chester Zoo. It's been here for over 80 years. 1.4 million of us walked through its gates in 2011, making Chester Zoo the most visited wildlife attraction in the country. One adult, please. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Now, there can't be many of us across the Northwest who haven't visited Chester Zoo at least once in our lives. It is one of the region's great days out. But this place is so much more than just a showcase for the likes of elephants and lions and tigers because what you don't see when you come here is the amazing work the zoo does around the world to prevent endangered species from being wiped out. Endangered species like the African black rhino and the African wild dog. This is Mukamazi National Park in Tanzania where Chester Zoo help pay for their breeding programs and protection. The park is huge, over 1,200 square miles. It borders the even bigger Savo National Park in Kenya, making it part of one of the largest protected ecosystems in the world. I travelled there with Mark Pilgrim, the zoo's director, to see the conservation work firsthand. Today's special treat is cow stomach and intestines. How important is the education program that you run here? I think if I get any more of these questions, I'll stuff this thing in your gob. What's it been like for you raising a family in a wilderness? Well, it's been a bit like raising a family in a wilderness. I knew I was going to be doing work, but I didn't know I'd be doing this kind of work. Yes, it wasn't the easiest week of my working life, but it was definitely one of the most rewarding. This is the sharp end of what we do. So we have 10 overseas long-term conservation programs. And that's all because Chester Zoo is a charity whose mission is to be a major force in conserving biodiversity. So that's what we're all about. Good to see you. You okay? Tony Fitzjohn runs the conservation programs here. He and his team of rangers do everything from making sure the rhino have enough fresh water to inoculating the wild dogs against disease. You know, we don't do this for tourists, we don't do it for a PhD, we don't do it for, um, you know, recognition or anything else. We do it because we give a damn about these rhinos and about these wild dogs, and we believe that they need to be perpetuated. You know. And it's very easy, with, with the canvas that we've got here to work within, to find a thousand excuses why things shouldn't work, and, you know, not to skive off and not do very much. Um, and unless you are driven, you know, then go get a job in town. And speaking as someone with a job in town, it was humbling to see just how hard Tony and his staff do work. And it's amazing to think that some of the money we spend at Chester Zoo goes to helping their work, even if some of us aren't aware of it. Have you heard of anywhere called Mukamazi? Can't say I have, no. <laughs> Are you aware that a lot of your money goes to places like Africa in the Philippines and Borneo? No, I wasn't aware of that, to be honest. You didn't know that at no. all? No. no, no idea. But I suppose if you think about it, if they, that's where the animals come from, so uh, yeah. It sort of makes sense. Yes. It's all about the people who watch this programme, who visit Chesting Zoo, that make this happen, allow this to happen, you know. What they are doing is not only having a great day, hopefully, enjoying the day, looking after the animals properly, but also funding projects like this, and that's tremendous. So next time you're at Chester Zoo, just remember where some of your cash will end up three and a half thousand miles away with the wild dog and the rhino. Tim Scott, Granada Reports in Tanzania.